Okay, so now let's look at another um, problem. Still same same thing is for uh, finding the area of a shaded region. So two um, functions are given. Y equals x minus four and y equals uh, square root of two x. Okay, so um, same logic. What we already know is, uh, you know, this uh, region starting from x equals zero. Okay, and ends to some place we don't know at this stage. So we can figure that out. That is um, uh, solve. This y equals x minus 4, y equals square root of 2x. So solve this uh, um, uh, system of the equations. Okay, that is x minus 4 equals square root of 2x. So if you square both sides, uh, we will see uh, x minus 4 squared equals 2x. This is x squared minus uh, 8x plus 16, okay, equals 2x. That is x squared minus 10x plus 16 equals 0. So it turns out we can have this is x minus uh, 2 and the x um, minus uh, 8, right, equals 0. So basically, we can solve that x, x equals 2 or 8. Um, but one thing you need to be careful is, uh, you know, if you look at this graph, we know that uh, this um, uh, intercept, um, you know, we only have one here. And then the question is, uh, uh, which one, right? Is it x2 or x8? It turns out it's going to be, uh, x equals 8. Why? Because if you look at uh, uh, this graph, uh, the intersection point, actually it's in the first quadrant, which means that x and y coordinates uh, is going to be both uh, positive. Um, and uh, when x equals 2, it turns out that you can see that the corresponding y for uh, the strict line, it's going to be um, 2 minus 4, which is negative 2, which is untrue, okay? And how this can happen? Well, the let me see if I can have a different color. Okay. The, the, the case is, uh, it's this step, okay? The case is this step. So when we uh, square on both sides, after we already uh, losing, the, res the, the the restriction for this uh, uh, square root of uh, uh, 2x, meaning um, you can tell that even I put a negative sign in front of this square root of 2x, when you square it, it's still the same. And why uh, that part is true, because, uh, you know, clearly, you can see that the next half part uh, of this is going to be y equals negative uh, square root of 2x. And this x equals 2, which is exactly the intersection between this curve uh, and this strict line. Okay, so just to be very, very careful uh, about this. So uh, we know that we're going to drop the x equals 2 um, and then so the enter is going to become into from 0 to 8 right the upper limit uh, the upper function which is square root of 2x minus the lower function which is x minus 4 dx right so that's going to be uh, uh, so it's the square root of 2x minus x plus 4 on dx. Okay, dx. And then, uh, so all the left part, it says just uh, 
some purely, um, like I said, algebraic operations. So square root of 2 times x to the power of 3 half uh, over 3 half minus x square root of 2 plus 4x, right? And then from uh, 0 to 8. From 0 to 8. All we need to do is just to plug 8 in. So it's a square root of 2 times 8 to the power of 3 half over 3 half minus a square over 2 times 4 times 8. Well, it turns out uh, we're going to have uh, square root of 2 for here. You're going to have it's a uh, 8 equals uh, 2 uh, cube, right? So it's 2 cube, then raised to the power of 3 half, and then still let's have 3 half here. So it's minus 64 over 2, 32 plus 4 times 8. Uh -huh, so it's still uh, 32. So it turns out those two cross out. Uh, so we have a square root of 2 here. We have 2 to the power of 9 half. We have 3 half. Okay, so good. Um, well, turns out we can do a little bit more. So it's 2 to the power of half times 2 to the power of 9 half. Okay, 3 half. And then uh, this is 2 to the power of 5. Okay, and then over 3 half. Turns out, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. And then if you do everything there, it turns out so this uh, is your uh, solution here, which is 64 over, uh, oops, so 64 over 3. Okay. So, so yeah. So this is uh, 2 to the power of 5, okay, which is 32 over 3 half, which is going to give you 64 uh, over 3. So hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.